Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. Well, I just finished putting together my greenhouse here, the shelf greenhouse for deck and patio. And I have some beautiful plants that I'm going to put in them. These beautiful garden begonias. And I believe that it is for uh, the Mother's Day season. So if you love begonias, now's the time to check out your Costco and pick up some of these beautiful begonias. And this color is just so beautiful and rich and will add such a good uh, impact to the garden. It is still a little chilly out for them, so it's a little early to actually put them out in the garden, in the landscape, because the nights are kind of cold. So to help them out and keep them um, a little more protected, I'm going to place them in my greenhouse that I just set up for them. Hello, hello. A couple of months back, I went to um, Ocean Job Lot in, here in Massachusetts, and they had these um, four shelf greenhouse for deck and patio. So I'm going to put it together here. Greenhouse, yay. And there are different parts to it. They have the this section right here. Another one. These are the shelves. Shelves. Another bracket just the top. Another part. And these are to hold the thing together, hold it together. This is the plastic, which will all come together. And it has the instructions, which is so important. So with this, we're going to put it together. Let me show you the instructions here in the shade. So it's not that difficult to put together. You just have to connect the the uh, letters <laughs> together. It has A B C D E F G. <laughs> and um, that seems pretty simple. So the first thing that they tell us to do is to put the A's together, the A section, um, with the um, B section, and kind of connect them all around, and then the C goes around. So we'll start from the beginning here, right here, and work on that, and, and then build our way up to the, the top there.
So I was able to put it all together and I think it came out pretty nice. Uh, I've had one before, as I said in the past, but this one seemed a little bit more sturdier than the previous one. And uh, it's pretty nice because you just put the plastic over it like this and then you can, as it says, you can roll it up at the top. So I'm going to just roll this piece up and then I'll be able to put the plants inside. I went for a trip to Costco to pick up some things and while I was there, look what was available to purchase. These beautiful garden begonias. And I believe that it is for uh, the Mother's Day season. So if you love begonias, now's the time to check out your Costco and pick up some of these beautiful begonias. And this color is just so beautiful and rich and will add such a good uh, impact to the garden. It is still a little chilly out for them, so it's a little early to actually put them out in the garden, in the landscape, because the nights are kind of cold. So to help them out and keep them um, a little more protected as they are hardened off, because they're going to need some a chance to what they call harden off, where they'll adjust to this new outside temperature. I'm going to place them in my greenhouse that I just set up for them and that way they will be able to withstand the um, the cool nights but still enjoy the sunshine and the warmth of the day. Uh, they are uh, begonia Himalas and uh, they say mass plantings, borders, containers, house plants, remove spent flowers, prolongs bloom time. That's the information that they've given here. So um, I guess because they're more like a house plant that you'll have to really just enjoy them for the season. In a sense they're like an annual unless you bring them in and you know maintain them in an indoor greenhouse in the winter time and use it as a house plant but these leaves and flowers are so beautiful very impactful I love how they look and they're a good size too a good size plant here they're going to add a lot of beauty to the garden and big bulk beauty that I'm not going to have to uh, really purchase a lot more stuff. Uh, I'm going to have an, a good amount of color along with the seedlings and I'm going to start and place also in the greenhouse here. If you like this video then like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Have you started your seedlings, your seeds setting your seeds and uh, are you uh, creating a greenhouse and how are you caring for your seedlings and um, your gardening needs and um, and what do you think about this little greenhouse leave a comment down below and let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will come back and join me here in Catherine's garden and home and I just love sharing my little secrets and ideas and things that I have done in the past so um, come on back and join me here grow together here in Catherine's garden and home bye Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for